Nancy, you are always doing something new and it's always something interesting. So let me just start off saying congratulations on The Good Father, the Martin McNeil story. And I'm very curious, with all the true crime out there, what drew you to this story? And why did you want to produce this film? It had very little to do with Doctor. Doctor, <laughs> in quotes, Martin McNeil. Although he turned out to be a fascinating character except he's real. But what really drew me to the case was Michelle McNeil. Mm. Oh dear Lord. If I could just be half the mother that she was, just this genuine, wonderful person. This movie is told through the eyes of Alexis. Mm. I don't think we would have ever found the truth because Alexis would not give up. She did not believe her mother died naturally. And what was so disturbing about that aspect of the truth and the movie is that Alexis revered her father, Dr. Martin McNeil. She even went to medical school, greatly influenced by him. And then to find out that uh, in the end, you suspect your father, yeah. that you look up to of murdering your mother, awful. But Michelle, is the one that, that captivated me first. When and where can we see this film? The Good Father airs on Lifetime, October 2nd. And I am gonna be right there with my whole family watching. I hope you join us. Oh, we'll be watching for sure. I have to ask you a couple of things because uh, the world according to Nancy, okay? Because there's a lot going on. Hit me. Biggest case right now is, is Gabby Petito, which is another heartbreaking case. We still don't know all the answers. What do you make of this case? It is my firm belief. Gabby was dead when Brian Laundry set off on his trek back home to Northport, Florida. Mm -hmm. Either way, he is responsible. I've got a very strong suspicion. He's not in Carlton Reserve. He is long gone. A lot of people speculate, did he kill himself? Right. I'm not a betting woman, but I would say no. Why? When you don't know what someone's going to do, look at what they've already done. Mm -hmm. He's been basically on the run since he left Gabby around August 29 or before. Came all the way across the country and didn't think to call anybody or right. report what had happened. Hid out at his parents' house, didn't speak to police, his own sister, the neighbors, nobody. In fact, I don't even know if he stayed there. For all I know, he's been gone for weeks. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.